It's Friday, and that means finding out what's happening on the music scene. We brought our friend Ben Hunter back to share the West Michigan vibe for the first full weekend of this new year. Ben, welcome. Yeah. Happy New Year, ladies. Yeah. Happy New Year to you. It's 2012. Yep. And that means we've got a lot of really great new things happening on the music scene. Definitely. Yeah. Starting off tonight, there's some fun stuff going on in East Town. Chugger will be playing at Mulligan's. Chugger. What, what style of music they are, are they playing? Uh, I'd say a punk rock band. Okay. With a little bit of ska in there, so sometimes oh. people will get their dancing shoes on to it. <laughs> oh, that's, well, that's always good. And it's fun. They have a sax player. Um, it's kind of aggressive, but fun and uplifting. And uh, Brad, the front man there, he's he's quite the character. He gets things rocking and rolling. It's a free show, 21 and up. Oh, starts nice. at 10. And Mulligan's always has free shows on the weekend, so uh, if people want to head to East Town, that's a good spot to stop by. Okay. Well, as we were saying earlier in the show, a lot happening on Saturday as well. Yeah. Yeah, Saturday, there's a couple different events going on. Uh, uh -huh. For the people that like the electronic dance music feel, they can head over to Founders. Uh, Flash Clash will be here, and they had performed at Prospecto, and they had a video in Art Prize last year. Oh, okay. Really, really interesting band. They put on like a super cool light show, and they have 15 different dancers and laser beams and neon oh, colors, wow. and it's super cool. Uh, it's $5 admission. Doors are at 9.30, 21 and up. And then there's also a really cool event going on uh, to kickstart the Wheatland, uh, the Wintertime Wheatland, their third annual concert over at the intersection. And uh, that's uh, uh, going to be happening over there on Saturday. Um, we have a, f a $15 advance ticket and uh, $20 at the door. Students with an ID get in for $10. Okay. It's all ages, lots of excellent folk music, bluegrass. So if uh, people are familiar with the traditional Wheatland, they're going to get a little taste of it right here in Grand Rapids, because yeah. I know I go to that festival every year. It's up in Remus, so it's a it's piece a of nice that. It's a nice reminder that that yeah, goes Yeah, and it's yeah. a lot of fun. It'll be, uh, the music is, is just uh, great to be there live. Oh, super cool. And then Sunday, there's even more fun going on. On and a it's Sunday? A, on I a like Sunday. That. And, and it's neat on Sunday. Uh, Richie Lampani from Rocket Entertainment. He was here uh, back yeah. in 2011 talking about the high school battle of the bands, getting all the younger okay. people involved. And they have a really cool situation there where they're all vying for a $2,500 prize. So moms, dads, kids, grandmas, grandpas, uncles, everybody comes out for this thing. That's it's cool. a lot of fun. Uh, $7 pre-sales and $10 at the door begins at 4 o'clock on Sunday. That, again, is all ages at that the intersection. Like, that sounds like fun, really yeah. cultivating that next generation of musicians. Definitely. That are out there. Okay, so it's going to be a big weekend at the intersection, as Ben shared with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, our next guest is going to be one of the guys that are actually on stage. For fans of the Wheatland Music Festival, that happens every fall. Um, like me, I tend to go to that. It's a lot of fun. This is the real treat. The music makes that makes that event is moving indoors this Saturday. And our guest is Banjo Jim. Sure you won't miss it. Andrew, How you Welcome doing? Back. It's good to be here. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about yourself, and I mean, you have this really rich history of playing, and <laughs> the coolest <laughs> instrument, instrument I think around. Okay. Well, I'm banjo Jim, and I play the banjo. Tomorrow, I'll be at Winter Wheat at the intersection, one to one. My band, the Blue Water Ramblers, is kicking it off with a jam session. So, if you're there at one, bring your axe. As Ben said, twenty bucks at the door, ten if you're a student. 13 bands on two stages. We've got dancing in the big room, listening in the back room. We've got the Crane Wise, we've got Celtic, we've got Bluegrass, we've got the Blues. Wow. It's a Pleasure. great deal. It really is a great it's a deal. All day party. Yeah. So, so, so it's the place. And inside, be, nice and cozy. Yes. And Banjo Jam, you've agreed to to play a little bit to give us a little taste yes. of what we might see if we go out yeah, on that. Saturday to experience. Yes. This. Inspire us. Okay. A couple of years ago, I was browsing the history stacks at the at the library and found a book on Grand Rapids. This is one of the stories from Grand Rapids early history. Steppin' mule of mine Where's old Jonathan? I think it's getting pretty near his time He never used the reins Never touched the whip He knew every path That he never ever slipped Singing where's old Jonathan That high steppin' mule of mine Grand Rapids, Michigan, 1842. Doc Shepard cured the Barnes family of the ague, and they paid him with a mule named Jonathan. Doc didn't need a mule, so he sold Jonathan to the liveryman. Where's old Jonathan? 
Where's the net high stepping mule of mine? Where's old Jonathan? I think it's getting pretty near his time. Never used the reins, he never touched the whip. He knew every path and he never ever slipped. Singing, Where's old Jonathan? That high stepping mule of mine. The livery man had a light freight wagon built, hired a drover and commenced a business hauling freight between Grand Rapids and Grand Haven. On the third trip, the drover got drunk in Grand Haven and passed out on the load. He woke up in Grand Rapids with Jonathan nudging him to get up and pump some water. So they fired the drover and from then on, Jonathan hauled the loads all by himself. Stepping mule of mine. Where's old Jonathan? I think it's getting pretty near his time. He never used the reins, never touched the whip. He knew every path and he never ever slipped. Singing, Where's old Jonathan? That high stepping mule of mine. For two long years, Jonathan hauled the loads all by himself, and then one night he did not show up. They went down the trail looking for him. They found Jonathan under a tree where he'd taken shelter from a storm and had been struck by lightning. Where's old Jonathan, that high-stepping mule of mine? Where's old Jonathan, I think it's getting pretty near his time. Never used the reins, never touched the whip. He knew every path and he never ever slipped. Singing, Where's old Jonathan, that high stepping mule of mine? When Jonathan reached the pearly gates, St. Peter said, Jonathan, we called you home because the good Lord needs a mule that knows his own way to haul souls to heaven. And ever since then, the people of Michigan talk about Jonathan, the mule who knew his own way. Way. Jonathan, that high-stepping mule of mine. Where's old Jonathan? I think it's getting pretty near his time. Never used the reins, never touched the whip. He knew every path and he never ever slipped. Singing, where's old Jonathan? That high-stepping mule of mine. Where's old Jonathan? That high-stepping soul hauling heavenly mule of mine. Jonathan. Thank you. You're welcome. Be there tomorrow.